last left off reminiscing at my bisabuela's house, so we begin this video there. This little blue door on the side of her house led out to the street. I remember there being a tina, a tub, always full of water to the left of it. Before my mom and I would head out to the plaza, I would watch how she would dab her hands with some water from la tina and pat down her dark pants. Naturally, I did the same. We were cleaning off the dust from our pants that was collected throughout the day. We would then exit through those doors and be on our way. I walked on over to my abuela's section of the land and could not see the wall to her room, so I decided to have all the brushes removed. We found someone to clean up abuela's area. The gentleman asked where we wanted cleaned up. We pointed in the direction of abuela's area. He said, where? Tello's house? Immediately my curiosity antennas went up. I was intrigued because that name had come up before. I faintly can put a face to that name. I know he was a man who was held in high esteem by the family. I wanted to learn more, so I asked my Aunt Lupe who was with me. She said she would tell me later, but I never got a chance to ask. Once the brushes were cleared out, to my surprise, the little room was still there. I couldn't believe it. I just stood there looking from afar, not wanting to get close just yet. I saw how different it actually was from what I remember. There was just a stove left of that area. This was the kitchen area. It only had a roof over it at one time. Now gone. Maybe you're thinking, why hasn't anyone done anything about it? Why has it been left there? Well, my abuelo is no longer living, and there are certain things abuela doesn't want to relive. It's understandable. This is the inside. There's no roof. All the beams have fallen. I only have faint, distant memories of actually being in this room once or twice while Abuela was around. But I was enjoying myself just walking around the area, trying to remember things and imagining my relatives. When my tío Arnoldo, Abuela's son, passed, he was living and working in Purépero at the time. I clearly remember getting the phone call that my uncle was seriously injured. He had been asking for my mom, so we immediately flew out. I remember driving up in a taxi, and there was a lot of people waiting outside. Slowly, their faces became clear. I could see it in their eyes. Something bad had happened. I recall walking into this room, seeing him there, lifeless. As I got close to the coffin, Someone had raised me up to see him. I never really knew who had raised me up, but that was the last time I saw my uncle. This area outside the room and between Abuela's kitchen and my bisabuela's house was the area where the wake took place. My tío Arnoldo was young and wasn't married yet, and the tradition is that during the wake, they burn fireworks if you pass before you marry. I can still see all the people gathered around the crackling fire right outside the room and hear the vivid sound of the fireworks being shot up in the sky, loud and powerful. Walking towards the stove gave me chills. There was a connection, maybe even something symbolic of what Abuela's kitchen is all about. Yes, the walls of her room were still standing, but the only thing that survived all these years was the stove, the one thing that gave life to the meals the she might have cooked for those she loved. And those meals brought the family together no matter what had occurred throughout the day. And those moments gave fire to the memories made by all of us who once stood in that kitchen. I found a few things, not sure if they were Abuela's or mi tío Juan's, her brother, but I took them back home with me to give to Abuela. That day, all I could think about was how I wish I could restore it or do something, but it isn't mine, so I'll let time take its course as it should.